think your world is safe. It is an illusion. Enjoy these final moments of peace. JJ Abrams, thanks for sitting down with Gizmodo. How are you today? Great, great good to be here. Thanks, how are you? Very well. Oh, excellent. Um, look, congratulations on uh, on Star Trek Into Darkness. Awesome, oh, awesome you. film. Oh, thank you very much. How did you approach this one differently than you approached the uh, the first sort of Star Trek reboot that you did a couple of years ago? Uh, we approached this uh, fresh, meaning we didn't want people to have to have seen the other film we did or certainly the original TV show. We wanted to treat this. A lot of sequels start, you know, assuming you care. And we just wanted to say, brand new movie, brand new story. Uh, part of it really was, you know, balancing the, the huge action and spectacle stuff with the characters and just making sure that you cared about, laughed with, felt for the characters, because that was everything. Um, and so, I guess that was the hardest part of it, was just making sure that, you know, the, you were able to connect with the people as much as you were able to, you know, gasp at the spectacle. Let me explain what's happening here. You are a criminal. I watched you murder innocent men and women. I was authorized to end you. And the only reason why you are still alive is because I am allowing it. So shut your mouth. Captain, you're gonna punch me again over and over till your arm weakens. Clearly you want to, so tell me. Why did you allow me to live? What's really interesting about uh, the first sort of Star Trek reboot that you did was you put little homages into to other movies. So, for example, you put a little R two D two in there when mm. when they warped into uh, when they warped into the Vulcan homeworld. Mm. Is there any little Easter eggs that we can look out for this time around? R two's in this film as well. R two's in this film as well. Yeah. Where R two is in he's he, he's been in every movie I've done. Really? Yeah. We're like I cannot tell you. I've, <laughs> I've, I've been asked to like not say anything and let people find it, but he's in this movie. I swear to God. Is there any hints as to where we should be looking? Where we should uh, be paying attention? It, it is. Uh, it's something that involves the uh, the Enterprise. Okay. Well, uh, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, but he's but he's there. But that's a you know that's always been this I, for some some reason I've just always put him in the you know and uh, you know maybe he should be in Star Wars too actually. <laughs> So that, I think I feel that would be appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Now, obviously, you, you, you've you signed on to do Star Wars. Yeah. You said you came on to do Star Trek, and, and you weren't really a, a, a Trekkie. You weren't, you know, hugely into the universe like, right. like a lot of other people might yes. have been. How are you approaching the Star Wars universe? Are you coming into that as a fan? You know, it, it, well, I can't help but uh, do that, and, and, and yet, you know, it's very early days on that. So I feel like, uh, I mean, that movie is sort of the, the, you know, epitome of the greatest opportunity of all time. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to, you know, to get Star Trek Into Darkness, you know, we're just finishing it, like, down to the wire, and, and get that out. We're starting, you know, the work on Star Wars now, and it's been really fun. Awesome. And and just by way of a, a finishing question for you, um, you, you've obviously expressed interest in doing video games with, uh, you know, video games and video game movies with mm -hmm. Valve. You know, there's been a, a bit of a worry recently that, uh, that video game movies haven't been up to snuff, um, but now that they, they've got, you know, the best game studio and, and, and the best director in, in, in Hollywood working for it, what, what do you hope to bring to video game movies that's been this uh, Well, it's, it's nice of you to say that. I, I will say that uh, the thing about Valve specifically that I really appreciate is they've been pursued for a, a long time uh, for both Portal and Half-Life, among other things, to get involved in, in film, and they've said no every time. And this came out uh, through conversations with, with us and, and, and Gabe and, and the rest of the Valve team in a very organic way. And the fact that we're now able to begin this process of, of working on those, uh, those stories, they are a very narrative conscious company. They, they are really incredibly detailed and approach their games the way we uh, seem to approach the stuff we work on, which is really emotionally and, and using technology sort of as a magic trick to sort of make you feel the thing that they want you to feel. Um, so I'm hoping and hopeful that this is going to result in a couple really great stories and great movies that by chance, like some films, happen to be based on something else, in this case a video game. Fantastic. JJ Evans, thanks for talking to Gizmodo. Cheers. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. I hate this! I know you do! You have any idea what a pain you are? I think so, sir. Jim, the beach is that way! You think the rules don't apply to you because you disagree with them? Three, two, one. By now, all of you have heard what happened in London. 
He's a fugitive, and I want to take him out. Hold on! Captain, this ship will not fit. We'll fit. We'll fit! We'll fit! Oh! I told you we fit. I am not sure that qualifies. We're gonna do this. We gotta do it now! You ready to swim? I'm ready. Punch it. Tell me this is gonna work. I believe in you. Come on, it's gonna be fine. 